Are you wondering how to compress your irons? How do you really squeeze the most out of it? How do you hit that ball with forward shaft lean? Hit the ball straight, get consistent divots after the ball. This video is going to give you two really easy drills that you can either do with a golf ball or your phone so that you can hit the ball and compress that golf ball so much better. So compression, what is compression? If we take a seven iron and we open the club face and scoop the wrists. We are not going to get a compressed strike. Why is that? We've added more loft and essentially it's going to be more of a glancing blow. The ball's going to pop up with lots of spin and it's going to come off like a pitching wedge. If we really want to compress the golf ball, we need a better club face, so less open, more shaft lean and less dynamic loft. So at point of impact, rather than being the scoopy golfer that adds loft and opens the face, so it starts as a seven iron, but by the time you get to impact, it's maybe more of a nine iron or a pitching wedge loft. We want to be the golfer that has a club face in a better position, more shaft lean, less loft at impact, and you're gonna get a lot more out of your shots. Benefits of this, club face stability, so the dispersion is going to be better, you're going to get more distance, it's going to feel better, and hopefully you're going to hit a lot more greens. So if we look at some of the best golfers in the world, some of the best ball strikers, at impact, they would generally, with an iron, have more weight on the left leg, they're going to have forward shaft lean, they're going to have their lower body, their hips, quite open. So, forward shaft lean, there's a compression, there's that less loft at impact. Weight left, that helps them get divots after the golf ball. So that position there, this shaft lean, this de-lofting of the golf club, whilst keeping the face square, the mistake a lot of amateurs would make is they lean the shaft forward but open the face, which what these drills are really going to help you understand what you need to do in order to get the tour impact and really compress your irons. So a lot of the keys to iron success come in the left wrist position as you approach impact. So what I would like you to do is grab a golf ball and place it in your left hand, so your glove hand. For left-handed golfers, that's obviously going to be your right hand, and you're gonna place that in your hand with the palm up and the golf ball looking at you. From there, what we need to try and do as we approach impact is scoopy golfers, or someone who adds loft and doesn't hit the ball far and doesn't strike the ball well, they're going to move the left wrist this way and the right hand's gonna match. So with that, in that scenario, the golf ball faces towards the ground. This left wrist has started to move this way, but if we're gonna compress an iron and not do this, we want to move the left wrist this way. So as you're approaching impact, this left wrist is gonna twist down the way. The golf ball is facing up to you, so you should see that full golf ball, I can see the Titleist logo, and it's going to twist down to the floor. So we should see that full golf ball there. So we can see the golf ball, backswing, down into the impact area. We can see that full golf ball, and the back of the left hand is twisting down towards the ground. So it's moving this way. So it's bent back, and it twists down. It bends back, it twists down. So that twisting down closes the club face, and this wrist bending back gets you the shaft lean. So that's what I wanted to try and do. We want to get away from the scoopy, poor strike seven irons or different irons where you add loft and lose distance. Get that golf ball, twist down, twist left, see the full golf ball, twist down, twist left, shaft lean, good club face. So practice that, do that with a golf ball. So get that feeling with the golf club in your hand, maybe do it with one hand, then add on the second hand and really exaggerate those feels that left wrist twists down, twists left. So if you can get this right and you start twisting that left hand down and imagine that golf ball is looking back at you. Shaft lean, good club face. As that club face gets better, you're more likely to shift the weight forward and you start getting yourself into a really good position. Likewise, very similar drill what you can do with your phone is hold your phone with your left hand, screen is facing away from the target. So we're down, we're here, the screen points away from the target. And what I want you to try and do is as you're swinging down, the feeling for that left wrist is imagine that you're going to read a text message. 
So, phone is in the left hand, screen points away from the target, and what I want you to try and do is, the back of the phone points up to the sky, that gets the wrist angle in a good place. And then imagine you've got a notification on your phone, and as you're swinging down, you're going to twist your phone screen up towards you. So back of the phone points to the sky, and then you check for your notifications. So you have a look at the screen. Take that phone away, look at that left wrist. That's twisting down, twisting left. Do that again, back of the phone to the sky. Check for a notification, up to the top, down to impact. Great position. Honestly, these two things are so simple, but will really, really help you compress your iron shots. And if you struggle with either club face or shaft lean, or a bit of both, these two drills are an absolute game changer. So we do that, same feeling, twist down, twist left, get that club face in a good position. Compress those iron shots, hit the ball further, hit more greens and shoot lower scores. So give these two drills a try. Honestly, two of my favorite drills. You can do these anywhere. You can improve your swing no matter where you are. If you're a golfer, you've always got a golf ball on you. You've always got a phone on you. So give these a try and if you found these two simple tips useful, please do click that like button, subscribe to the channel so you're first to know about the two videos that come out every single week. And if you'd like a freebie in return, check out the description link below and you will see here, you can get a free swing analysis with me via the Skillist app. So just send me some swings and you'll get an analysis and your video feedback. So essentially a free online lesson to give you a bit of advice and get your game moving in the right direction. So try out these amazing drills and watch your game improve.